I didn't say you were my son on that. Not yet. Shoot. I got you. Yeah. All right. Now press the mic button. See if you can hear you like this. Look. I can. I can hear myself now. Talk. Watch. One two one two. I can hear myself, but you can't hear yourself. If you hit okay. this. All right. This goes on. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, you might have to hit this if you can't hear yourself with this. I okay, got you. Okay. Test test test. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Check one two one two. We do this and, and talk. One, two. I got it. I can hear myself. Okay. Yep. All right. I, mi I missed my. Uh... Uh, Diamond Twin is four and a half southwest, going to set up for right down one for two two Orange County. I missed my A A one A. Do you really? Sometimes I do. Yeah. Well, the whole thing with the canopies. Uh huh. That's New York that we're going to be talking to. Uh, they're probably going to hand this off to Albany, so let me put that in there now. 132, 825. That's Albany, and then uh, we're good. All right, parking brakes coming off. Plane is rolling. Check the brakes. All right, we're good. Orange County traffic, uh, what is your active? 2 2. 2 2 orange, thank you. Have any questions, comments? Oh, yeah, let me know, bro. So welcome back, folks. We're here with Kevin and his Tiger aircraft. Hey, guys, did, did I say it right? Tiger? Tiger, that's All right. it. Tiger. <laughs> 2003 Tiger. It's beautiful, the beautiful panel. That's a, that's a 530? That's a 530W. That's nice. We're going to Columbia County. One Bravo One. One Bravo One. Um, get the tool.
I'm going to go out at uh, 4,500 and uh, probably come back at 5,500 because it's cooler. Uh, yeah. Got the hat cam on today. Oh, cool. <laughs> I never used it before. We'll see how that works. Yeah, my Grumman A1A was a nice plane. Yes. Oh, I got news for you, man. All planes are nice. Um, true. The only thing is, it just, uh, in my opinion, what creature comforts you want, and yep. what are you willing to settle for? Yep. Diamond Twins, that one Lima Hotel, turning right face, 2-2, two -two, Orange County. A lot of birds down here. There was a uh, coyote uh, sighting yesterday. Oh, really? I'll show you the picture of it. Oh, let me show you this, man. I'll, I'll wait until we... If you look over here, I just put in Mike Gulf Juliet, 1 Bravo 1, 4,500 feet. I hit go. Now, there's the flight plan that we're going to. Now, see, there's nothing blinking here, right? I, I hit this button here, this plus, with the brackets around it. And to panel. Oh, message. Message. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not... Uh, flight, plan, boom, enter, activate. I didn't have to manually put That's it awesome. one by one. You, you, you just set that up, or is it already like that? I That's the flight stream uh, 210 that I had installed. It's like 1600 bucks. Oh. But when you do a complex flight plan, um, say you're flying IFR, and, and it gives you intersections and and different waypoints here you hit that it goes right there it accepts otherwise you got to individually do, do everything yeah okay awesome all right so now we're going to do uh the engine run up parking brake is set check throttle at 1800 That's close enough for government work. Engine instruments in the green. Green, 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 green. Green, green. Back check. 100 drop, roughly 125, back on. Now do the right. Drop, there you go. Back on. Let's check the carburetor. There's your drop. Back up. Everything's in the green again. That, that. All right, let's see if it idles. All right, we're good. Okay. All right, before takeoff, trim tab is set. Let's check the middle up. That's good. Five to check operation. That's good. Extra full rich is required. Throttle friction lock adjusted. Flight instrument set. Clock turn. Lights coming on. Fuel pump coming on. Transponder is on automatically. All right, that was easy. Parking brake coming off. I 
Check this here really quick. Check off the checklist. Fuel pump on the fullest tank. Yes, mixture full rich. Check. Auxiliary fuel pump on. Check. Inch set and check. Trim is set. Flaps are up. Throttle full. Are we set? Set. All right. Close the canopy. And Orange County traffic, uh, Tigers taxiing to 2 2. Holding short. Here's the uh, event. It's on. Okay. Orange County traffic. Uh, Tigers uh, taking active 2 2 north uh, east departure. Okay. Oh, good. I left my phone, but that's okay. Oh, there it is. And Orange County traffic, Tigers rolling 2-2. Two -two. Orange. All set? All set. RPM 2282. Wide open throttle, 60, rotate. Gear up. Gear up. <laughs> <laughs> And she takes off beautifully. Does the job. I want to climb out at 90. Traffic, uh, Tigers departing to the uh, northeast, Orange County. All right, here we go, man. We're climbing out at uh, 80. Everything's in the green. Everything looks good. This size of engines is 180? 180, oh. uh, nice. a light combing uh, 0360 Alpha 4 Kilo. Nice. And now we're going to switch over to uh, New York and see what happens. Uh, New York approach, Tiger 946 Tango Echo. 946 Tango Echo, New York. 946 Tango Echo just departed Mike Gulf Juliet en route to 1 Bravo 1. If you're not busy, I'd like to get flight following. Sure, stand by. Hey, fuel pump coming off. Hey, Kevin flies beautiful. Really nice, yeah. Niner 46 Tango Echo Squawk 7137. 7137. 946 Tango Echo. Boston Approach, Piper 87 Juliet. 87 Juliet, go ahead. Have the Kipsey Airport in sight, 87 Juliet. 1787 Juliet, thanks. Radar service is terminated. Just stay on the squad code and contact the Kipsey Tower 124.0. Good day. Contact the Kipsey Tower. Have a good day. 9046 Tango Echo, radar contact a mile northeast of Orange County, 2400. Stuart Altimeter 3011, maintain VFR. 3011, maintain VFR 6 Tango Echo. It's VFR everywhere. Approach. Good morning, Skyhawk 938 Sierra Alpha, Cessna 172, out of 2,800 for 3,500. 938 Sierra Alpha, safe position and your request. All right, we're about uh, 12 miles northwest of Cowell Airport and we're looking for ILS couple instrument approach into Orange County Airport. 
That's what I wanted the rings around it. Is you're about 12 northwest of Caldwell? Yes, sir. I try approach 127.6 for 276. 27.6 for uh, HR Alpha. Perfectly normal when it gets up that high. Oh yeah, some guys fly in the 500 range. There's all our targets right there. Yeah, four flight's amazing, isn't it? No, oh, this is the uh, SB. Yeah. Yep. I got spoiled with that right off the bat. I would imagine. <laughs> okay, we're leaned out now. Uh, passing through uh, 3,800. I'm in the 45. Now the... Uh, Yes, works. So that that uh, autopilot fly the uh, the Garmin. That's a uh, that's the S Tech 30. Yes. So it has GPSs? No, that's when I get the uh, got you. Aspen. All right, just uh, 4,500 to go. I don't know why it deviates a little bit like that. Seven seven four seven Gal. Contact Bradley. Approach one two three point nine or five. One two three point nine or five. Report to Gulf. Very smooth. It's only my second time flying. <laughs> New York, this guy warms up with you, climbing. Hi. Altitude is set. You might have to adjust because I adjusted the power. Now with the uh, autopilot hold, the altitude hold? It, has a, it will, but it'll tell you trim up or yeah, down yeah, yeah, depending yeah. on the... Uh, right. You can see we're, we're right on course here. I just had this set up. This is your traffic page. This is your weather page. Um, this is your terrain page. See on top. Yep. And we're 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 100% cool. Not showing any traffic. There's your targets. There's our track. And back to the main page. Just gonna, just verify we'll be it, landing uh, in uh, roughly 20 squawk. minutes. Give or take. Nice. I'll just leave that. One squawking zero two seven one. Okay, thanks. Yeah, for some reason, it assigned it to some other plane. I think my AA-1A had 106, 106 horsepower. All right, we're doing 130 right now. Yeah. Oh, you had the 160. You had the 0320 E2G in it, upgraded with the uh, high compression pistons. 140 Charlie Tango, contact approach 120.15. 2015 Charlie Tango. Now I could go faster. I'm only doing 2430 right now, roughly. Uh, don't ask me what the fuel flow is. Uh, it's been estimated at uh, seven and a half, eight gallons an hour. Okay. Um, that's good. That's really good. Now watch. I'll show you. I'm at 2415. I'll just increase 2415. 
450. I know, the, the, the RPM's in a weird spot. It should have been like right over here. So right. Now watch, because I gave it more power, it's going to want to do this. This light's going to come on telling me to give it down trim. Or it might adjust itself, but you know. Landing lights coming off. But did you put the gear up yet? You know what? I'm gonna let it hang out there. Um, it'll keep the bugs off the uh, fuselage. Oh yeah. I don't know why you welded the gear down. The mountains, man. Look out! Look at that. That is the dimension people do not see unless they fly. That's beautiful. I think, yes. All right, I put this on 6 and 12 um, because over here, that's only 6 miles and 2 miles. Look at all these haze that we've got. Right. So, we got November 4, 5, 4 Tango. He's above us. Uh, uh, 2000, uh, no, he's climbing right here on this. Once I get the Aspen, you'll be able to see it all on the main page. Yeah, see, there's a trim down I was telling you about. Yep. Yeah. But it compensated for it. But we're also doing 2,500 RPM now. So I could use down trim, or I could just back off the throttle a little bit. Nice. Welcome aboard, 96, yeah. 946 Tango Echo. Tango Echo. Tiger Aircraft. I think it's a pretty neat cross-country plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I know you're sitting back, but if, even if you were up, look at all the room you still, you know, it's not, not, yeah. you're not compact like a 172 or anything. Um. Or a Mooney. <laughs> oh, see, you know, funny you should say that because if you look at David's plane, uh, November, um, uh, I forgot what his number was, uh, six, uh, 946 Hotel Bravo, I believe it is. Uh, when it flies, it kind of looks like the shape of it in the sky, it looks like a sperm. Right. But he's got, he's got a lot of room in it. Um, does, you know, it, look, anything... Good approach, uh, good morning, sky off 938 Sierra Alpha. A, a 150 will do the, the job, you know. I'm oh, 9 yeah. miles to the south of you, cannot VOR. The thing is, and I tell this to people... 938 Alpha, Roger, say request. And my older brother... Yes, sir, we're looking to do two approaches into Orange County. We'd like to start off with the ILS-4. My, old, my three, older brother, one, zero, Curtis, the weather. said... There's no we such got thing as on zero three one zero for uh, eight Michael eight zero alpha. There's no such thing as speed and economy. You either have a, a right, economy and go slow. So I I think that's just my opinion. The Tiger alpha radar contact traffic is fast alert. enough, but yet I don't have dollar I don't have hundred dollar bills coming out the exhaust stack. I got five dollar bills, but that's you know. Thank you. Um, your plane is very economical. Yeah, it is, uh, yeah. We had a contact, 10 top of Huguenot, 3,006. You know, I was thinking of buying a Bonanza. Maintain VFR. But, but, you know, you're talking a couple of hundred dollar bills floating out the exhaust stack, meaning this is fun to fly. Yeah. When I did my research to do to get into a complex airplane, I did a lot of research, and the Mooney was the best bang for your buck, believe it or not, because of the efficiency and the speed. Absolutely. A little bit tighter, but you know what? I don't care about the back passengers, really. You know, it's like anything else. <laughs> it's like anything else, Chris. When you buy a, a car, uh, my Ford Explorer is a uh, seven-passenger vehicle. Alpha, turn right to How often do you have seven straight people straight in, the, in, the, in the vehicle at one time? All right. Mostly you only have one person. Right. AB2. So here you buy a Mooney that's very tight. I get it. But how often are you flying with somebody? Right, for four people, right? For the two people up front's not bad, but they got the guys in the back, you know, the room's like, not this much. Um, you put the seats up pretty far, you're fine, but yeah, like you said, it's how many times you have four people. And it's for me, it's not for everybody else, you know. We're doing 131 uh, knots, uh, ground speed, excuse me. Probably a headwind.
I yeah, I believe so. And we're picking up all the GPS. I, I look at that. We got a full boat, except for oh, there goes eight now. Yeah, my little Grumman AA1A was fun to fly. There you go. It was fun. It wasn't the fastest thing. Oh, 100 but, knots. But, <laughs> all right, here we go. That was my first plane I bought for 16 grand. You know? Well, the first plane I bought um, was the 1979 Grumman Cheetah AA5A. I bought what I could afford. Yeah. Um, and a really quick story to that is, I looked at this plane back then. I couldn't afford it. I, I wasn't going to mortgage my house. I wanted it to be paid. Alpha is traffic 11, 10 to 11 o'clock, two miles south, and indicating 4,300 type of unknown. Anyway, look how smooth this is, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You don't get better than this. Nope. All right, so anyway. It's your Alpha traffic alert, traffic 10 o'clock, a mile. This? Down, indicating 4,000. I have traffic on site. Thank you. Triple nine seven Papa contact New York approach one two zero point eight. Over New York twenty eighty nine or seven Papa contact. This this plane has a custom paint job on it. It's the same that you would see any Tiger with, but it's only got one color. So keep in mind, four years ago I couldn't buy this plane. I happened to things changed. So I gave the guy a call. He said sure he'll sell it, and he explained to me that this was a custom paint job because it didn't have the second color. Well, if you look at my cheetah, it's a shade blue off, but the guy in 2005 copied this paint job on the cheetah. Nice. The only thing he didn't do was the shadowing of the nut. So, in my opinion, you know what? It was meant to be. It was, yeah. Wow, look at those cloud. look at the uh, Appalachians. Am I right in saying? Yeah, yeah, yep. Virtual p 4835, 1.8, Clement, 3. This is an awesome hobby. And the thing is, people think, oh, you have to have a lot of money to have an airplane. You can get a 150 for 12, 13 grand, you know, less than 150, 15 grand. You know, price of a used car. What, what, what I say to people... 938 here, Alpha Fly heading 070, and going to localize it. No, now it's flying. You know, you guys go out and buy these $2,000 cell phones, and you're, you know, with all your data and stuff, and you're 150 a month. Give us, give whatever, that's the average. So, uh, it, this is it here, Alpha. Did you say zero seven zero? Um, what I'm trying to say is, in a year's time, zero seven zero for you're, you, you Alpha paid eighteen hundred dollars for a phone. Right, correct. You know how far eighteen hundred dollars could get? I, I could fly this Tiger for eighteen hundred bucks out to California, out to California and back. Three four point three. Three four point three. P M forty eight thirty five. Good day. In New York, Blue Sky 2 at a one That'd be a fun trip. Blue Sky 2, Roger, I'll send it to 3011. 3011. Air approach, good morning, Commander 1410 Juliet, level 5500. 1410 Juliet, near approach, the suit, I'll send it to 3011. Over to Hudson River. Okay, so I just tuned in in COM2. I have the uh, AWOS for uh, Columbia County as well as the COM frequency. And upstairs here we got New York approach as well as Albany in case he hands us off. I believe right. that would be the next uh, 132.825. 8, but I could be wrong. How, it, how, it, how everything was uh, holding, it's doing fine. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, it was, now it's deviating. Why, I don't know. This is saying that there's a guy below us, 1,700, about five miles out. That's a five mile out ring, right? Six miles ring, right. But that's why I have, I you know, it's not, I'm lazy. I'd rather have more than one set of eyes watching me yes. upstairs. Yes. I don't mind. A lot of people were like, uh, not forward, ADSB. And 
state and all this stuff, and I get it, but the second, you know, on the other side, it's like, hey, it's good to have more eyes out there. Remember, 9 or 4, 6, Tango Echo, contact Albany Approach, 132.82. 132.82. 6, Tango Echo. Oh, that's it right there. It was 210 or less, there were 50, 58. Albany Approach, uh, November 946, Tango Echo, with you, 4,500. Yeah. November 946, Tango Echo, Albany Approach, Albany Intimidators, 3005. 3005, 6, Tango Echo. November 9, Alpha Papa, maintain at or below 2,500, please. At or below 2,500, throw an just to let you know, this is electronic. See how I got the green light? Yes. It's telling me this is accurate to 1 RPM. So if that light turned yellow, it means the mags, one mag is off. And if it goes red, Albany approach, uh, Skyhawk. And Albany one obviously not working. Skyhawk 18374, Albany. Yeah, I'm back with you. The uh, technology is great, isn't it? Feet I think so. Walking 4756. Going to call me Airport. Yes. Weather, weather, wind, 3005, and I 10, Endeavor 5058, turn right at 100. Right turn 100, Endeavor 5058. November 0, Sierra Papa, turn left heading 360. 360, 0, Sierra Papa. November 13874, radar contact 5 miles okay, southwest of Okay, we're, uh, maintaining VFR, flying 190 for now. 15 out, we're going to start our descent. Uh, I'm going to disconnect the, uh, traffic, uh, altitude. Okay. I'm going to pull back our power down to, uh, 2200. Let it do its thing. I'll look for traffic, November 5058. Endeavor 5058, turn right, 170, intercept the localizer. Alright, 170, intercept the localizer, we got the airport site, November 5058. Gotcha. It'll trim up. Albany. Albany. Here so we're starting our descent, 500 feet a minute. So awesome. Sure about Albany. And remember, this is only my second time flying a plane, so. Is that why you welded the gear down? No, I thought it was a smart thing to do. One less thing to remember. <laughs> Beautiful. Endeavor 5058, traffic no factor, clear visual approach, runway 19, contact tower 195, we'll see ya. Clear visual 19 over What is that TRFC? What traffic, guys? Uh, 330, Bravo. Oh, okay. 357. 5357, 37, Bravo. November 9, Alpha Papa, no traffic, uh, fully altitude your discretion, and change to advisory, frequency approved, squawk VFR. Have a nice day. VFR. Well, imagine I'm going to use 2-1. 309 Alpha. Uh, maybe. Number 3 Sierra Bravo, radar contact, 7 miles southeast of Columbia County. Albany altimeter is 3005, say altitude leaving. 05, leaving uh, 3.7. 3 Sierra Bravo, right. Approach U18, Hotel Gulf, over to tower. 0 Sierra Papa, turn left, heading 280, intercept the localizer. 280, intercept the localizer, 0 Sierra Papa. That's the airport right there, right? Off negative, I want you on your uh, current heading, altitude your discretion. Yes, it is. Roger, 8 Hotel Golf. November 0, Sierra Papa, 5 miles from Elipe, turn left heading 260, maintain 4000 until established on the localizer, clear the localizer 26 Bridge, Pittsfield. 260, 5000 until established, clear for the localizer DME 26, doing 0, Sierra Papa. 4000 until established. Uh, 4000 until established, 0, Sierra Papa. Albany Approach, Cessna 736, Bravo Delta, 3,900. All right, a traffic pad now to this airport is uh, 1,200. November 713, Sierra Bravo, contact Bradley Approach, 125.35, good afternoon. 2535, 3, Sierra Bravo. We're showing traffic uh, at our 12 o'clock. Uh, do you have it? Uh, yeah, actually, I do have traffic. Uh, Albany approach, Cessna 736, Bravo Delta, 4000. Sorry, you were blocked, 3 sir, Bravo. 2 sir, Bravo, yeah, you're right. Stay with me for now. Traffic is uh, northbound, 4400 indicated. 3 sir, Bravo, thanks. 
Zero CEO Papa change to advisory frequency is approved. Report cancellation via FAR one able. Alright, switch out to advise and we'll cancel one able to a zero CEO Papa. Sears 8 Hotel Golf, turn 20 degrees left. 20 degrees left, 8 Hotel Golf. November 946 Tango Echo, change to advisory frequency approved. Squawk via FAR will see you. 6 Tango Echo, thank you, sir. Six Bravo Dog. Bravo New Press. Density altitude 1,800. Lightning information not available. Do you have wigwags in this? Since you have two lane ones? I will though. Kennedy LED. Columbia Kennedy Airport. Yes. Automated weather awesome. observation. One five zero eight Zulu weather. Wind two zero zero at seven. Uh. Visibility one zero. Clear below one two thousand. Temperature three zero. Uh, Columbia County traffic. Uh, Tiger is um, six miles out to the uh, south inbound landing runway two two. Anybody in the pattern? There's a Sky Gate uniform Delta, just about to turn left base, runway 21, Columbia County. Will be a full stop. Uh, 738 uniform Delta, we have you uh, on the radar. Okay. See, I got him right there. Yep. He's, he's going in. Doesn't get better than this. I know, I know. Doesn't get better than this. All right, autopilot's uh, coming off. Click. And what I'd like to do is disconnect it here as well. We're hand flying it now. We're coming down. 1,200 feet. Fuel pump is coming on. Your seatbelt on and check. Columbia County traffic's got your pump out the left base. Runway 21, Columbia County. Mixture coming in all the way. Gump, gas, check. Undercarriage, check. Mixture, check. Prop, check. Seatbelts, check. Passenger briefing, check. I know, I know. <laughs> They didn't give me any peanuts for the trip. Hell. No. Oh, they were on the floor. Damn it. <laughs> well, yeah, you know what? I'm glad you came along. Uh, I, didn't know, okay. I didn't know what to expect today. And um, thanks for inviting me. Uh, I hope, hope, hope the guys out there enjoy the flight. I hope... Uh, Big County, Travis Guy, Europe about the final 2-1 full stop. Columbia County. Columbia traffic, uh, Tiger's going to be entering a uh, left downwind for 2-1, Columbia. Hey, we're kind of high, but that's all right. I mean, uh, I'm always erring on the side of caution. If the engine should uh, go kaput, right. yep. And we need to be down to 1,200 uh, TPA. Take a little chart there you wrote, that's nice. Uh, I always do that. I learned that from my brother Dave, David. Uh, he's actually my baby brother. Um, so, Chris, I don't have to tell you this. Yep. A good pilot's always learning. So, Absolutely. You know, I, I can't even fly the pattern without this on here. And, and a lot that I do in flying being commercial rated uh, seaplane helicopter as well um, that I never did before that I learned from David. Um, it's all good. Yeah, I, I, have, good. I have no, uh, no qualms about that. All right, we're just... Uh, this is your second time landing, right? Oh, no, I, you know what, it's my second time, no, see, you said my second time flying. Um, it's my first time landing, so we'll, we'll see what happens, I mean. Columbia County, Travis County, you know, pumped out the clear on runway 2 on Columbia County to the fuel pump. <laughs> well, they just redid this runway. Hey, Columbia traffic, uh, Tigers on established, uh, left downwind for 2-1. All right, we're slowing the plane up. We're doing 90 knots now. Uh, roughly 1,700 RPM. And uh, what we're going to do now is uh, add some drag, I think. I'm going to put down the flaps to a third and hold them right there. That little balloon up, yep. that, that's just where it stops ballooning up. You can put the flaps down to help in a soft fuel takeoff. And what we're going to try to do is fly a nice square pattern. 
flaps coming down two thirds now, and that's where we leave them. We don't. I very rarely use full flaps. That's another thing I learned from David. Um, almost down a 45, and then I'll turn for a left base for one. Hey, Columbia traffic, uh, target turning uh, left base 2-1, Columbia. And gas check, undercarriage check, mixture prop, fuel pump on, seatbelts are on. Hey, Columbia traffic, uh, Tigers turning final. 2-1, Columbia. All right, power's coming back. I know the Bazzi lights say I'm high as a kite, but that's all right. If the engine quits, you know. I'm going to make it. Right. Put a little bit of a slip in there. Get that speed down. And, yeah, down the flaps all the way now. They're coming down. I'm maintaining 70 on, on final. You'll see those lights come right into uh, a pink color, I guess, pink. And I'm looking for 65 on final. No. Five, there's the uh, red over white. They're all right. All right, now to put this on the ground, right? Supposed to. Beautiful. Oh, we're not done yet. There we go. There you go. Like, like butter. Butter? Okay. Cool. I like that. <laughs> and we're now we're on the brakes just to make the first off. Get the brand new runway here. Yes, it is. This is uh, very nice. In the hangar, there's a uh, Global Express, I think, and a uh, Gulfstream. They're nice plans. Okay, we're up here at the hold line, so now we can uh, go ahead and clean up Tango Echo. Probes are off, landing lights are off, fuel pump, flaps coming up. All set, we're going to crack the uh, AC now. The AC just came. Had a good enough landing for you? That's awesome, man. Well, guys, anything you have anything to say for the uh, audience here? With the, with the grumbling right? Of the uh, Tiger, I should say? Well, Tiger's not for sale, so don't uh, email <laughs> me looking for it. Um, I hope you folks enjoyed it. Possibly see you on the return. Yes, uh, well, I don't know if I have enough battery power. All right, guys, until next time, thanks for flying along. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel, Pilot Fun 101, and follow me on Facebook also. Any questions, email me at pilotfund101 at gmail.com. Until next time, fly safe, be safe. See ya. Oh, that was awesome. I tried. I wish the booty turned like this.